This is Dell Latitude 7320 detachable laptop. I mean, it's a tablet PC. And today we are about to reinstall Windows in it. You can install both. You can go for Windows 10 or Windows 11. This is compatible for both. This is running Windows 11 anyway, but I'm trying to downgrade it to Windows 10. And both of the boot would be in UEFI format, so it doesn't make any difference. So first of all, what you need to do, you need to create one bootable Windows 10 or 11 thumb drive. If you don't know how to create one, you can check. The video link would be in the description how to create bootable Windows installer free of cost. So this machine does have type C connector only. And that's why I use this adapter, which is type C to USB standard. And also I would like to have external mouse while I reinstall the system because sometimes the trackpad get disabled during the Windows installation. And also I would like to keep the charger connected because I don't want to see any sort of interruption when I reinstall Windows in it. So let's do that. Once the charger is connected, external mouse, Windows installer is connected, then we're going to restart this machine. While we restart, we're going to keep pressing F2 to get into BIOS. Thanks to Dell, they always kept it unique, F2 to get into BIOS. It's not like HP because HP sometimes do F10, sometimes ASC button and many more. So I'm going to press and hold to shut it down because it's taking so long, which is a kind of pain. All right, so you're at the main page. So we need to change a couple of major settings. By the way, all the time nowadays, by default, that is in EVFI, but we are just double checking if the TPM is on, secure boot is on or not. So try to keep your settings exactly like that okay as you can see the security tpm everything is enabled now there is one hidden features that we need to turn into enable otherwise we wouldn't be able to see the internal SSD while you try to put the system in it, okay? What it is, it's called VMD, okay? So VMD is like a kind of SSD or storage controller. So if the VMD is not enabled, I mean, if enabled, then you wouldn't be able to see internal drive. So you're gonna type on the search bar, vmd and we're going to click it and we're going to keep like exactly like that settings remember if you don't do then it's not going to show you your internal drive during the installation so you're going to save these changes and restart that system you know you're going to keep pressing f tool to get into temporary boot option so we can choose the usb windows installer we need to keep pressing. Now from that list, I need to choose my Windows installer, which is that one. And once it's selected, blue highlighted, we're going to press enter. And now it's going to load up the actual setup page. And we can see the USB light is blinking. It means something is happening. So if you see the Dell logo is stuck, don't worry, it should be fine. Hit next. Accept the terms and condition and go for the bottom option because this is for fresh installation. And now we're going to delete all the data, but just a second. Before you delete any partition, make sure you back up your data first because once you delete the partition, you're going to lose the entire data, which would be very difficult to recover, sometimes impossible. So make sure before you get to this point, you do that. Once everything recreated, we're going to hit next. And now the actual installer would copy every single files and folders 
into the main directory. So let's check until the end if this boot is successful or not. As you can see, the boot is successful. It turns on. Now you might face some difficulties with the drivers because when you reinstall the system, sometimes the drivers is not up to date. So you need to update the drivers, connect into Wi Fi, and go to Windows Update. Thanks for watching. I hope I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.